So every time you complete one route, you do actually get a star to denote that, hey, you beat it. Yay, cool stuff. And now again, originally I was going to do Sasuke's next, but Nigel did volunteer to translate the story bits. I'm going to postpone doing him as long as possible. Itachi wasn't going to do anyway until much later, despite being my main. I should probably pick up a new main. I want to use you. I want to use you too. God. All right, but we're going to do Sakura next. Under normal circumstances, there's no way in hell I would use her next. But one secondary main character. I oh. don't you know, despite Sakura being a main character, she sure is absent for a long stretch of time, isn't she? Eh, fun stuff. Alright, so... Why am I using Sakura next? Well, yeah, also a uh, secondary character. Also, I've kind of learned her combo routes a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, <laughs> so here's the thing. They, they kind of change a little bit in this game. I'm gonna see if I can do them in an actual round, though. Like, they're really cool. It's not too hard to land them, but I will need some pr luck. Alright, um... Yeah, that would've... That would've definitely landed in, a, in the prior game. Uh, that was... There was definitely no 7 hit in there, but I'll take that. Anyway, it could be a lot of earth shaking in this episode, in this video. I don't want to say episode. I mean, I guess I could say that too. Oh, I forgot the best is Brutal Moon. Okay. So, first one we got over here. Generally, also, the game's gonna give you these, um, scroll- free one- uh, freebie scrolls and or, like, icons just willy nilly sometimes. Hello, Anko! God, I miss you! You're such a good character. Anyway, 40 seconds and a 50% chakra. <laughs> Sakura definitely wants that chakra in this game more than any time else. Holy shit, okay. God, I love her so much. Have I ever mentioned how much I absolutely love Anko? And we've never been able to play her in these games at all. I've never been able to play her once for my YouTube channel. What the fuck? Oops. Eh, let me see. Anyway, Anko's pretty fun. Uh, she's basically like a stance character of sorts. Ah, I can play Woods out again. So the only, the thing about sucks about Sakura now is that when she's going from pink fist back to normal, there's no more clapping of the hands to or like yeah like palm of the fist animation. Now nah, she just kind of pops out of it, so it's a little harder to all time. But the window is also a lot larger off of like the second B, uh, second hit in the down B string. Uh, best thing about this Sakura is she does damage on like storm. Oh my god, tell me about it! And she actually hits like a motherfucker. I guess it's kind of the same thing, Bob. Yeah, <laughs> kind of is. Yeah, again, I, this is part of the reason why I cannot, I can never overemphasize how much I love char some characters, especially in Clash of Ninja over Storm. Because, okay, I, I just, I just gave these examples before. Tsunade, uh, Tsunade actually hits like a like a thunder strike. Like she throws people clear across the screen. Like anytime she even does breathes, it's amazing. Actually, probably could face her strength as opposed to Storm, where she's like, there's some shockwave effects, I think, and they don't get blown away often. Kisama's got like cool Shadow Clone gimmicks going on, and he also plays like, he plays a little bit slower and also methodical, but he hits, hits really fucking hard, still has really cool moves. It's Sony, Heat On, oh my god, he literally shreds enemies to bits with his scythe. It's awesome. Is there anyone else that I should be thinking about? Hinata is, is complex. Like, she's got some stance shenanigans going on uh, with the feints and everything. Oh my god, Neji and Hinata also. Holy crap. Omnidirectional... Eh, it might be omnidirectional. Kunai reflection with uh, the the uh, rotation move. It's so good. Like, again, I love... S Every character in Storm, I feel like you could learn him in like, a, in like an hour or two, give or take. If your execution, execution is good and you know what to look for, you can learn him in like a few minutes. Meanwhile, with this, like, I didn't learn soccer whatsoever until, like, just recently. 
Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't realize the requirement is. Oh, okay. That actually, I didn't build. That's weird. That was dope. But Sakura, especially, like she's no longer just like the linear. I'm gonna be honest. You you, you could stick Sakura and uh, and Tsunami next to each other in Storm, and you basically have the same exact character. You know, both Cherry Blossom Crash and Heaven Kick of Pain. They're basically the same move. Like, despite okay, obviously despite frame data differences, they are basically clones of each other. Like, am I? I don't think I'm out of line with saying that. Yeah, yeah. You, then again, you also don't get like real differences in characters in Storm until you get to like three with Tilt Awakening characters. Cause like boy howdy does uh, <laughs> uh, Nagato play a lot differently than everyone else. Hey, you know again, cool. Yes, we will unlock you know at some point in time. We will use her. Holy crap, that's been a long time. No, you're right. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad I'm right. Okay, there's also a chance this one might crash. Her hair is doing some weird stuff in the back, but that's probably whatever. No! Akira! Oh yeah, I gotta mention that. Sometimes the text does kind of glitch out a little bit. But again, it's whatever. It's a quality of life English patch. I'm not gonna give it too much shit. It's cool. If you if the guy did this for literally free, I have no real room to complain too much. This doesn't even have to exist. So, again, really cool stuff. Ow. Ow. Holy shit, that was an interesting interaction. I even cancel that too. Oops, wrong one. I did a back B instead. Yeah, so even in spite of the lacking animation for uh, Pink Fist canceling, it's still pretty. The hit stun is so long that it does. You can still kind of visually confirm it. So yeah, hopefully I can draw it off a bit more. That's below forty seconds. Yeah, pretty sure. Knowing Sakura, definitely. For that matter, I will say also she's kind of plummeted down in tier list again in this game. I'm pretty sure. Let me check that. I'll bring up the lemo. Hey, you know what? Fuck, I'll bring up the Lemo tier list now. It's probably better to get this out of the way sooner rather than later. Okay, monitor full. Let me just go ahead and zoom in like crazy on this. This is from Lemo. He sent it a couple days ago to the GNT disc, uh, special server, I think. So yeah, you can see that the top three is generally rotation in these characters. Below that, Sage Naruto, which who I am gladly surprised is actually in here. I'm glad Itachi's all up here. Sasuke being up here makes sense. Deidara is still a pretty good offensive monster. I'm actually kind of surprised that Anko surprised, uh, landed anywhere near her top 10. That's kind of cool. Lee's also here. And then from here, I guess just like a smorgasbord, a whole bunch of other characters. And poor Kerr and I. I mean, the fact that she's even included is so cool, but goddamn, yeah. Also, sleeper hit waifu, uh, uh, as I don't remember her name, go figure. You go. Took a second. Yeah, just kind of neat stuff across the board. Uh, Sakura chakra dumping compared to Naruto lack of um, need to use chakra is interesting for the resource management department compared to previous games. Yes, definitely. Uh, resource management is a huge way to you can define characters individually in a fighting game. The way that they play individually too is really cool. Like Sakura needs chakra to really get going with her stuff anyway, and I think that GNT definitely helps to emphasize that more. Like, I'll be real here, I, compared to even how she played in, like, the old GNT games, the way she plays in EX is so cool. Like, it's so fun with the earth, earth shaking and everything. And anyway, I'm just gonna hold it back and uh, spam this. In a sharp turn from what I was just saying with me being like, oh my god, I love how she plays. Yeah, uh, kunai spam is kind of the way to go with winning these. Look, I'm sorry, if, it, if you could take a couple hits, then cool, but that is not the case. Also, are her hips wider than I remember them being, or am I going crazy? Hmm. I better not start thirsting over soccer in my old age. That would be very odd. I'm gonna assume not. 
I'm gonna lay that as a general observation. No, not this Sakura specifically, by the way. God, no. <laughs> if I didn't, t like, 15 years ago, I'm not going to now. Anyway, uh, six seconds on sub. And with combo secret taking, I'm going to use Tsunari because fuck that. <laughs> I say fuck that, not in regard of, um, not, uh, liking Sakura, but oh my god. I don't even... We may have used Tsunade once or twice for all the Let's Plays I've ever done. I'm going to try to change that. By the way, I really do want to pick up her in uh, GNT4 right now. Okay, switch button. I think it's Z? Yep. Anyway, this is the catapult move. You can see what I mean by, por like, portraying the strength. Holy mother of fuck. That would hit ground originally, pretty sure. Look at me just finding the combo routes. I'm pretty sure this is a team super, isn't it? Be surprised if it wasn't. Yep, there it is. Poor animation and all. Bobby, you haven't lived until you've Y canceled this move. So good. Uh, it's funny how they made one of the best modes in Revolution 3 to, uh, to the worst type of fighting now. Ah, uh, man, yeah. I do kind of miss the mission structure mode that gave you a Revolution 2 or 3. I've been kind of thinking about, kind of blowing in the back of my head, like, do I want to try, like, doing a 1% run of the mission modes in Revolution 2 and 3? I, I, I don't know. Maybe if I'm bored enough. Damn it. Uh, well, I did use it at least. Fifty percent, cool. You also get these taunts. I so the t by the way, the taunts, the emblems, and the tiles you get are more so just used for the online play of this game. Uh, I don't believe this has no. This might have text attached to it. I'm gonna shift F1 just in case. Don't sub six seconds, easy. But yeah, they're, they were used for the online section of this game. Obviously, since the Wii's online is long since kill, you're not gonna get much use out of that these days. But Back in the day, man, I, let me just, I used to have played exactly one game of Revolution 3 on net play, and let me tell you, oh god. Ooh. Did that attack actually almost poison me? Oh, it did. What? Cool. Also, yes, yeah, Sakura hips are huge here. I'm glad I'm not the only one thinking that. Like, they feel just uncharacteristically wide. Like, usually she's literally a toothpick. Odd design decision, but okay, sure, why not? Look, I like being a thick woman, sure, but like, it just feels weird to just kind of do that. Sakura hips were wide before Kakuzu? Before, really? I mean,. God, do I have to start getting compare like video compare like picture comparisons for? <laughs> um, I got to analyze Sakura's curves now. Jesus Christ. Okay, eight seconds, seven hit combo. That seven hit combo is going to be child's play with Yamato. Let me just say that straight up. Again, one of the good things about this game for the Let's Play is that I get to show off characters that have never been used before for this channel. Also, I don't think are Toa and Mira play a this game. Oh no, uh, T Toa and whoever the other one was. Uh, I don't think they're in this game, so unfortunate. Unless I'm wrong. Uh, oh, here we go. Seven hits there. Well, that's. I think I need action. You need eight hits. Oops. Oh, yeah, also realizing that with Sakura, um, uh, might actually need- Yeah, I think I do need to switch to- Yeah, I missed it again. Oh, I got to do some Sakura loops, so you know what? Cool. How the hell did that launched me so far? Oh, well, just barely got it. Cool. Sakura versus Rush Maru. What a concept. 
Could you imagine that? The disciples of the three Saudi actually fighting some of the opposing teachers? Bro, that'd be wacky. Imagine that. Actual interplay. Also, what's up, Kurt? Glad to see you in chat. Chat's been a little bit quiet tonight. I've been a little concerned. Oh, we, did we get the combo secret technique? No, we didn't. Ah, whatever. That wasn't going to be... So, the unfortunate thing is that even with some characters getting completely reworked supers... Oh my god, I should have shown it off. So, for the record, despite literally not having changed supers whatsoever since they're all of them debuted in GNT3, all of a sudden have new supers now? Kind of poggers. Kind of nice. Alright, yeah, also, unfortunately, you probably noticed this already. Yeah, the car the introductions for this mode do not have uh, animations. Bit rough. I'll do this. Sometimes you just want to go for the basics up with her, honestly. You're not going to cash out the big damage until you actually do a, me a meter like this. Oof. Whoa! -ho -ho. That was kind of dope. Could you imagine Sakura doing something besides getting hurt during the bridge arc? Oh, let's see. Getting punched by Naruto in the bridge arc and then, like, the burn kicked in. Literally just sitting there dumbstruck at Sasuke and trying to fight back, but ultimately that goes nowhere. And then literally falling out the face of the earth, doing like, trying and failing to do something during the uh, Kazukage, no, the um, Kage Summit arc. And then finally coming back right at the tail of it was like, oh yeah, it's right, you're a character. I need you for the finale. <laughs> oh my god, Sage Naruto already? Cool. Uh, do we want to use them already? I'm not that proficient with Sage Naruto. I mean, okay. Despite the fact that one of my most used videos is a fucking guide for Sage Naruto. Yeah, lateral axis, uh, for saying on. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good with that one, thank you. Oh, it's an attack team, I don't have a choice. Actually, this should be funny. I think that hurt him a little bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to do fancy shit here. That was neat, I guess. Again, like I said before, this game has a little bit of a fetish for the, the tornado tag battles. If, if you don't know where I'm getting that term from, it's, it's a wrestling term. Tornado tag, all people are active at once on teams. Yeah. Right, how long did that one take? 21 minutes. Not bad. Not bad for Sakura's run. I guess learning these characters does actually help you a little bit with going through the modes, huh? Weird. That's heavy Sas Sasuke, by the way. Yeah, I can believe that. Well, Actually, no, it shouldn't be. That should be regular Taka Sasuke because of, you know, Sage Naruto being on the team. That's just a really weird idea, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Shift F1. Um, if memory serves, I think this is one of the ones that does crash. So we're going to keep that in mind while we go through this. Again, that's, that's why I'm safe stating before every single one of these is because don't want to go through them again. I Or, like, don't want to have to actually lose all my progress because, again... You don't auto save. Yep, this is the one that crashes. Hey. Next text box, I think. And there it is. Very fun noise to have by all, isn't it? Yeah, so this is why we save save because some of these do in fact crash. But in a nice little change of pace. There we go. Also, yes, you can skip the dialogue. Yes. You can skip the, uh, skip the text boxes before the crash hits. It, it's a bug only with the translation patch. I imagine that the story mode is such an inconsequential point that the that Koshe didn't bother with 
troubleshooting it. I don't blame him at all. All right. That said, though, the one character I'm not looking forward to playing as is fucking Chio. Is it because I'm not big brain enough to use her? There we go. Holy hell, how have I gone this far without actually mentioning it? Yes, the fact that we do have the all the uh, black space on the sides of the screen filled means that, yes, this is one of the... I'm going to say one of the first. This is this is like the start of the Naruto games where you do actually get proper 16 by 9 wide screen support. Um, remember, EX 1, 2, and 3 did not have this. And considering release times, I'm going to guess a lot of games until like 2009 didn't really support it. Let's see, I remember Prime 3 did. I think it was more of a case by case basis, really. 82%, hot damn. That's not bad. I mean, ultimately, for us, you know, the uh, white ass American side of things in good old US of A, this doesn't really matter too much. Also, yes, you do get character unlocks. I'll talk about it in a moment. Like, having scroll completion uh, to unlock items and little neat little knickknacks for the uh story for online that is kind of officially defunct yeah how'd you get an iso that doesn't crash when you play story mode easy i scout what parts of the story mode crash when you're going through it and i kind of play around it